So how can you design a suitable size for your water tank? Hey, my name is Isil Khan and you're watching an engineer boy. Water tanks are containers used to store water for different purposes. It is important to work out or design a suitable size for the tank to save time, place and construction materials. As you can see, our approach is to determine a suitable size per water tank or water container. So we'll give solution to a problem which is the best way of explanation. So let's give solution to the given problem where we are asked to select a suitable size per a square tank to store 20,000 liters of water per a residential building. Note that tank size should not be more than 4 by 4 meters in size. As I believe the given data is enough, so I'll come directly into the solution. And in the solution, the first thing I want to determine is the capacity of the tank in cubic meters. And I can do that from the storage capacity which is of course 20,000 liters. So the total capacity of the tank should be 20,000 divided by 1000 because 1 cubic meter is equal to 1000 liters. So 20,000 divided by 1000 equals 20 cubic meters. So the tank capacity is now 20 cubic meters of water. Now we will have to do some assumptions like per the depth of the tank or per the area of the tank which is actually the hard part of this calculation. So we'll have to do a few trials in order to choose a suitable size. So let's do our first try. And here on this try, let me assume the depth of the tank is 1 meter and 0.5 meters per the sludge type materials. So the total depth equals 1.5 meters. Now if you remember, the tank is square from the top view. So the volume of the tank must be the length times breadth of the tank times depth of the tank which is of course equal the capacity of the tank and that's actually 20 cubic meters. So now from the given conditions of course we can determine the area of the tank. Like if you see the length and breadth are the same things in a square. So let me put a part these both and the depth is known which is of course 1.5 meters. And now a cross a is actually a square and divide both sides by 1.5 which is of course the depth. So we can get a square equals 13.34 square meters which is actually the top area of the tank. And by taking the square root of both sides of course we can get the one side of the tank which is going to be 3.652 meters or you can say 3.7 meters. So based on date assumption of depth equals 1.5 we got of course 3.7 meters is the side of the square which is actually suitable from the size and based on the available limited area. So finally the size of the tank should be 3.7 by 3.7 times 1.5 meters to hold or store 20,000 liters of water. And remember this is just trial number first and we can try a few depth assumption like if we assume the depth of the tank is 2 meters then the size will be 3.1 times 3.1 times 2 meters. And similarly if we take 1 meter as the depth then of course we can get the size of the tank as 4.47 times 4.47 times 1 meters and so on. We can do many trials to choose a suitable size per a structure. Now from the following three trials, we'll choose one size based on our limited area which is of course 4 by 4 meters. So let's analyze each size. And let's talk about the trial number third, which I actually do not want to choose because our limited area is 4 by 4 and here the desired size is much bigger. So we cannot consider this size to be taken. And what about trial number second? This actually makes little sense. However, the depth is little heavy like 2 meters is in a video. So I also reject this size to be taken. And finally, let's talk about trial number first. Here as you can see, the size is 3.7 times 3.7 and a plan of course which is a good video according to our limited area 4 by 4. 
and I'm actually happy with this. I'm also happy with the depth of this trial, which is of course 1.5 meters. So yes, I'm happy with this. And finally, the size should be 3.7 by 3.7 times 1.5 meters. And that's it. Hey, if you like the video, please hit that subscribe button, press the bell icon and never miss in other update from an engineer boy. Thank you dears for watching. See you next time. Hello, salam.